that heard it. I was on the lobby level. We were just inside the hotel uh, when it happened. And of course, they wouldn't let the elevators go up. They wouldn't let anyone go up. My wife was up in the room on the balcony looking out. But, uh, you know, the big thing is that we knew we had good security. And, uh, I talked to the players that, uh, you know, you know, the safest place was where we were at the time, at the hotel. So we talked to everyone and we made sure that they all knew that they could be comfortable and it was uh, in, in control. Did so, the players need talking to? About well, a couple. A couple were a little bit nervous because they had their kids here and they were worried about it, but I, we were assured that everything was fine, so we tried to reassure the players. And after that day, no one thought about it again. Was it? Did you think about how, how it's sort of a shame that this Olympics was going so well and then all of a sudden this, this, this thing happens and it had really kind of changed the, the face of this Olympics, you know, for better or for worse? Well, I, I think for better because I, I, I think that uh, people dealt with it. And, you know, the one thing is, is that you can't let people influence how you live your life. We weren't going to let that bomb, uh, what happened. We knew they were in control. Security was there. They made sure. Uh, and in fact, it may have even alerted them more. So the Olympics went on fine. Do you think things have changed in how Olympics do security uh, since then? Well, I think that security around the world has changed. I mean, you go to the airports today. I mean, you know how long it takes you to get through TSA. Uh, so it's a... Uh, the world has gotten smaller. Social media has changed everything. So people have to be alert. Well, you should be alert. You know, you, you shouldn't feel like you're out on a, you know, East End, because that's not the way it is anymore.